Sweet. Hello, today we're going to talk about Newton's third law. The Newton's third law states that if for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, the equation looks like this. Force applied equals to negative force applied. So for every force applied in this direction, an opposite and equal direct force goes in the opposite direction. Okay, to demonstrate, I will push this paper ball. Now, what was happening in that action? Um, so this is the paper ball. I applied force this way, which caused the paper ball to move forward. But you might ask, what happened to the equal and opposite force in this direction? Well, turns out paper ball is way, has way less mass than me, which means it, the the force required to push a paper ball is not enough to push my hands away. Okay, but the opposite can also happen. More okay, so basically what happened there is here is the wall, and then here is me pushing, applying a force to the wall. And let's say hypothetically that this wall is super heavy and requires a hundred thousand newtons of force to move, while I, much having a way lower mass, only need uh, 100 wow. newtons of force to be pushed. Now, as I apply, let's say, start applying force to the wall, say I start with 10 newtons, the wall is going to exert 10 newtons back at me, and as I increase, as I increase the force I apply to the wall, the wall will reflect more uh, force back to me as well. So when I reach over 100 newtons of force, let's say 101 newtons of force, the wall will also reflect back 101 newtons of force at me, which is more than uh, more than enough to push me backwards. A Newton's third law uh, presents itself everywhere in the world. Uh, one of the most common being the simple action of walking. So here, for example, here is your foot. Um, and here's the ground. And as you put your foot on the ground and apply a force backwards, the ground is going to apply a force forward, which causes you to move forward. 